it is Sam and welcome to my Food Network special. Um, since the holidays are coming up, we're going to be making a delicious pie that is vegan, of course. And you can make for Thanksgiving, for Hanukkah, for Christmas, for Boxing Day, for whatever holiday that you celebrate. Um, I'm going for the all-natural all look today uh, because we are real on this channel. So you get to look at my sleep deprived face lovely um so yes the pie we're going to be making today is a secret recipe i suppose kind of from my family it is my great grandmother's chocolate pie um rest in peace to olive treat what grandma grapes yes rest in peace grandma grapes we love you uh this is made every single year on holiday time for our family and it's traditionally made with whole milk but since I'm vegan, I've made it the past two years, and usually I use creamer because that was like heavy and thick, but the problem with that was it made it too sweet because there's already a bunch of sugar in the recipe. So this year I'm making it with coconut milk because that is one of the creamiest vegan milks. So we're going to use that. So let's get into it. This recipe is super easy to make. The filling is literally six ingredients, and then the pie crust you can make yourself with just water um, shortening salt and flour so easy my mom actually made the pie crust for me because i'm not good at that so it is baked and it is cooling but on the counter over there so we're ready to go okay so you're gonna need a good size saucepan uh to make everything in so the full recipe will be linked in the description but we're just gonna go ahead and make it right now so step one is to add all the dry ingredients all right here we have fair trade cane sugar um so it is definitely vegan and definitely fair trade we love supporting fairness in the world, whatever. So, three fourths cup of sugar, then third cup of cornstarch. The cornstarch obviously is important. That is what is going to help the mixture thicken up. A half a cup of cocoa, it is very important. It is essential that you use the Hershey's cocoa or it is just not gonna be the same. So make sure you get the Hershey's 100% cacao natural unsweetened cocoa powder. <laughs> One fourth teaspoon of salt. You can just eyeball it because salt is salt, it's fine. And then you're just gonna whisk all the dry ingredients together before adding the wet ingredients. Okay, so now all that's left are the wet ingredients, which are just the vanilla and then the coconut milk. So we just need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then make sure you shake the milk because it's probably gonna be a tad bit separated. This is just the so delicious coconut milk. If you're allergic to nuts, um, I'm very sorry. Perhaps you could try, like I said, the creamer, maybe like a soy milk creamer because we don't want anyone uh, with allergies dying on us here. So now that all the ingredients are in the pot, you're just gonna stir it on medium to high heat until it is bubbling. Now, I just got back home for Thanksgiving break. Us, my mother has the entire house decorated for Christmas already, so we're really feeling festive. Rebecca is with me. We love her um, because she didn't go home for Thanksgiving break because Chicago's too cold, so she's here with us. Okay, so as we can see, it is starting to bubble, which is good. That means it's thickening up, so you're just gonna wanna whisk it to make sure that it is all good and combined. All right, you can go ahead and turn the heat down and just keep whisking it to make sure nothing sticks to the sides. Oh, it's beautiful, it's working. Oh, he's getting real thick, we love. We like a thick boy. We love a thick bitch. Oh wait, I don't think it's a bitch on the food channel. We love a thick pie batter. My son? Mom? Guys, we have a guest visitor. It's my son. The angles. <laughs> <laughs> Angle. The angles. Look, he's helping cook. Angle. Help cook, Puff. This is not sanitary. This is not yes, allowed. Yes, it is. Puff is clean. Network. Um, if you guys think that cooking with your cats in the kitchen is unsanitary, unfollow me, please. Okay, so now it is pretty much thickened up. It is bubbling. It is smooth. It is beautiful. It is glossy. It is chocolatey. It is fragrant. That is too many so you're just gonna want to take it off the heat, and you cannot. Cannot pour this in the pie crust hot because that just will not work for you. So you're gonna need to let it sit according to the master, aka my mother, it has to sit for at least 10 minutes. It needs to cool entirely because after you pour it in the pie crust, you're gonna stick it in the fridge. So we're just gonna set this aside for approximately 10 minutes. And then once the mixture is cooled, you're just gonna pour it into your pre-made and pre-baked pie crust. This is a no-bake pie, so you're just gonna stick it into the fridge and let it chill overnight so everything can set nice and well. And here we have the finished pie.
stuff. Do you, yes. want, do you want a bigger but one? But the vegan whipped cream. Mm. It's yeah. delicious. Though. 